Um, if you do have any questions, uh, they're encouraged at the end. Uh, if I ask that you please uh, uh, identify yourself by name and the association, if that goes to whether you're asking a question to Chuck or follow on with the, uh, the congressman who's going to wrap this program up. Um, again, as Chuck is getting this ready, the captain made reference to the, uh, mm -hmm. the various tours that we're going to uh, be doing tonight. Ed Powers uh, is going to be the, the guy that gets up here and gives you all those details. But I do know from uh, just talking with Ed before the program, we're going to break it up into three groups. Um, as the captain mentioned, the opportunity to, to get over to the telescope and see Saturn is one of those tours. It, if it turns out that um, you've got a commitment, go try to get a round of golf in before the sun goes down or whatever. Um, once we break up from here around 8 o'clock, you're free to leave. Uh, you don't have to check out with anybody. Um, I would encourage you not to leave anything behind in this room. Um, they are going to start packing up the, the bar and the, the food right at 8 o'clock. So uh, are there any questions on, and the formalities of how we break those groups up, uh, before we'll, we'll deal with that uh, right at the end of the program, and I'll have Ed come up here and do that. But uh, again, you all set here, Chuck? Any uh, comments, questions on that? With that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Chuck Shu uh, with Ursa Knapp, a uh, long friend and acquaintance uh, going back into our Coast Guard years, but uh, he's got a nice presentation uh, tonight for you on the capabilities of Vila Ram, so I'll turn it over to Chuck. So I'm going to push my own slides tonight. So bear with me on that. So uh, thanks, I'm Chuck Shu. I'm the president of Versanab. Thanks very much for having me this evening, USNO for hosting and ION for paying for all the great food and stuff in the back. And Congressman, thanks for thanks for coming and uh, being here as well, and everybody else. We're here to talk about sharing time using enhanced Loran or eLoran. Um, and that, that's, I'm going to, I was able to get some time from Dr. Bruno. He gave up some of his time speaking this evening so that I could have a little bit longer presentation. It's not because I'm long-winded or anything like that. It's just because Ron's a really nice guy. So, so we know the sky is covered with position, navigation, and timing capability. We also know, like the captain said, that GPS is the gold standard for the planet, not just for the United States, but for everywhere else. It's the, an economic engine, it's a military engine, it's uh, absolutely phenomenal. I don't want anyone to get any idea from what I'm saying or what Ron has said or anyone else here that we are trying to uh, dissuade you that GPS is the best thing. It absolutely is. We're huge advocates of the global positioning system. Uh, we believe it should be protected, it should be toughened, and it should be augmented and taken care of. It's a national treasure. Uh, as it's a silent utility, but is a national treasure. So what's the problem with GPS? Well, it's the same problem with any other kind of technology. And anybody that tells you that there's a technology that doesn't have a problem is probably not telling you the accurate truth. So everything has potential problems. Every kind of technology that's made, anything that, that people made can break. And, and this is a list of the vulnerabilities that affect GPS and other things. The reason it's important to talk about why it affects GPS